Welcome back Curry Crew. Today we have a delicious and amazing recipe for you. So we know how much you guys love noodle soup. So today we're going to bring you a new twist on a noodle soup. And we're going to be making a delicious chili paneer noodle soup. So it's going to be packed full of amazing flavors and spices and veggies. So without any further ado, let's jump into our recipe. Today we are back with another delicious noodle soup recipe, this time with a twist. So for our chili paneer noodle soup, the first step is to take two pans, one nonstick and another saucepan. Into both we're going to add in one tablespoon of oil and we're going to allow it to heat up over low heat. In the meantime, we're going to take half a block of paneer or roughly 150 grams and we're going to cut it into bite sized cubes. So what is paneer? Paneer is kind of like an Indian cottage cheese. It's like an Indian version of tofu, but it doesn't have its own really strong taste. But whatever you put it into, it's going to absorb all those delicious flavors and it's going to be absolutely amazing. In my personal opinion, I think it's like 10 times better than tofu, but you know, don't tell all the tofu lovers out there. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to get it sauteed separately in a nonstick pan. This will allow the outside of the paneer to get nice and crisp while the inside remains soft. Next we're going to take a one inch piece of ginger and we're going to chop it up into a fine dice. This along with the garlic will be the base of our dish. Once your oil is hot enough, add the paneer cubes into the nonstick pan and then we're just going to allow them to saute for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the outsides are golden brown. You can cover the pan with a lid to prevent any oil from sputtering out. You can now also add the ginger into the other pan. Next take three cloves of garlic and chop them into a fine dice just like our ginger. And quick tip for peeling garlic. Take your knife and lay it flat side down on the garlic and then press down slightly on the flat part of the knife and the garlic peel should be a little bit easier to remove now. Once your garlic is cut, add that into your pan with the ginger and next we're going to take on an ingredient that is so deadly that many men can't help but cry and shed a tear. That's right, the red onion. So we're going to be using a medium sized red onion and we're going to cut it into slices all the while we are holding back and trying not to season our dish with our tears. And once our onions are chopped, add them into the pan and now give it a nice mix, 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 mix. We're going to saute this for about five minutes and then we're going to take one green chili and we're going to give it a quick chop and then into the pan it goes with our onions, ginger and garlic. Of course we have chili in this recipe, right? We can't call it chili paneer without the chili. So give it a quick mix, 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 mix. And then into this, add in two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of chili sauce, and give it all another nice mix, 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 mix. Make sure to check on your paneer as well. You can flip the pieces halfway through if they are golden on one side. Next, add to your saucepan two cups of vegetable stock and give it another mix, 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 and then add in salt to taste. Like always, we add a little bit at first and then add more if needed, but never overdo it. Also, you can add in a pinch or two of sugar to balance out the spicy and salty elements of our dish. Give it a nice mix and then we have some mini bell peppers that I'm going to start chopping up just to get them ready for later. If you don't have mini bell peppers, one regular sized one is fine. Right now I am just removing the seeds and giving it a rough chop. Then I'm going to focus on to our paneer. It should be done by now. And we're going to take that and we're going to add it into our soup that is simmering in the other pan. Next chop your peppers into little bite sized pieces and then add them into your soup as well. Give it all a nice mix, 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 mix and let it simmer on the side. Meanwhile, in another pan, we have some boiling water to which we're going to add in our noodles. So I'm using rice noodles, but you can use wheat noodles also if you like. Cook the noodles according to the instructions on the package. For me, this is roughly about four to five minutes. While our noodles boil away, you can chop up some spring onions on the side so that we can garnish our final dish with some delicious spring onions. Then once your noodles are done, take them directly out of the water and place them into your soup. Give it all one final mix, 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 and we are ready to dig in. So here we have our final noodle soup. 
I topped it with some of our spring onions and you can also add some extra chili sauce if you want. That's completely optional for you. It smells absolutely awesome. So I could wait for it to cool down, but where's the fun in that? Nah, I'm gonna dig in right away. So guys, here is our noodle soup. It smells absolutely amazing. So I am going to dig in. I'm gonna grab a piece of the paneer, the noodles, the onions. Mm. It is delicious. You get the amazing flavor of the vinegar, the soy sauce, the chilies, the onions, the peppers, everything combined makes it taste amazing. So you guys need to try this out for yourselves at home and let us know what you think of it and keep on cooking.